Hi, I'm Kristen Carver here with Dr. Lori Marker at the Cheetah Conservation Fund. How are you today? Good. Good. Today I'm going to interview Dr. Lori Marker about her life in Namibia, Africa. Why did you start the Cheetah Conservation Fund? I started the Cheetah Conservation Fund because there was no organization in the world that was looking at trying to help save the cheetah. And I set the Cheetah Conservation Fund up nearly 25 years ago. What we're trying to do with it is help bring awareness to everybody that the cheetah is an animal that needs help. How old were you when you started liking cheetahs? Well, I met my first cheetah when I was, I think, 19. And when I first saw my first cheetah, I was love at first sight, I think. What's your normal day like in Namibia? I actually try to start my day every morning by going horseback riding. I'm a big horseback lover. And then after that, I check on the different cheetahs. We have often orphans there that uh, many of them in the orphans come under my care. We've got livestock guarding dogs and goats, and I always have to go up and check the goat yard to make sure that the dogs and goats are doing well. And uh, I'm just checking in with my research staff and finding out what's going on. How many cheetahs do you have, like orphan cheetahs? Orphan cheetahs right now, um, it, we have about 40 cheetahs there right now. Wow, that's a lot to take care of. I know, it is. And you know, they have a lifespan of up to you know 15 or 16 years. So when they come in as a tiny baby, uh, our last one came in about two months ago, they have a long time that you have to take care of them. And not many of them can go into the wild. If they do come in at a little bit older age, we're able to put them back out into the wild. What's your favorite part about taking care of the cheetahs? What I really like is to be able to share what I know with people so that they can feel in many ways the same way I do, which is that of just awe of the fastest land animal, the most beautiful of all the 37 species of cats. And every part about them is built for speed. And if you just look at something that is so specialized like that, it's just all I can say is I'm awestruck by it. How could kids help save cheetahs? Well, kids are very, you're very powerful as young people. Um, and to spread the word, to help in a variety of ways. So you can help your, your friends at school know more about the cheetah, your teachers know more about it, your communities, your family. And with that, also help maybe help, help us raise money that can actually go into the field to help um, save the cheetah. You can adopt a wild cheetah. You can go on our website, um, cheetah.org, and learn more about how kids can get involved as well. Well, thank you, Dr. Larry Marker. This is the interview with Dr. Larry Marker, and I am Kristen Carver. Thanks for watching.